So how do you find that diminished return? And as you know, Josh, you know, in social media, you, if you're buying nationally, you have unlimited areas you can go to, you know, if you're doing webinars, um, yeah. no short of me, that's really refining the quality. But if you're going to do it in a local area and an educational place, you've got to give that place a rest, at least with that media channel. Um, otherwise, yeah. it's, you might have two back-to-back -back months that are really great results, but your third month is cratering in responses and you're paying a lot more because you, you didn't get enough breather. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like on our side, on a little bit of a smaller scale, you know, for classes, I've always seen like, you're spending anywhere between 1500, you know, to 2500 per per class, right? And anyone that goes over to like four to 500, it's like, it just that's diminishing, right? Or maybe you have a ton of people that register, but then your sales diminish because there's so many people in a room. So like, there's a the sweet spot of both what you spend and how many people you want in a room and all of that. Mm -hmm. All the I mean, we, we have the same problem. Yeah. We, we have one rock star presenter that can handle 50 people and convert at the same rate. 